Now, many of you, you will know by now that NEO, when it comes to infrastructure, they are aggressively deploying their both their charging and the battery shopping station infrastructure to try to meet or cater the demand that is in the fast growing EV industry. You know that, especially when you look into the charging infrastructure, because with battery shopping station, NEO is currently utilizing those uh, swapping stations alone. When it comes to the charging infrastructure, 21.4% of the time uh, NEO users are utilizing these chargers or their charging infrastructure whereas 19.4% of the time BYD users are the ones using the NEO chargers and 12.3% of the time Tesla is the one utilizing NEO's charging infrastructure. This shows you that uh, we are seeing most of the other EV users being the one to utilizing NEO's battery uh, NEO's charging infrastructure, which is something that is pretty exciting. You will know that as of last year, what we know from NEO is that their charging infrastructure are now profitable or they're generating some profits of this charging infrastructure. Then only thing under the NEO power, which is still not profitable, it is the battery shopping station technology, which also itself very soon will be reaching profitability stage because what is it that we are seeing? We are seeing total battery shops that the users or the new users co are completing per day uh, this number continues increasing because as it stands i think the uh, total daily uh, battery shops completed onto new battery shopping station it's currently sitting at uh, 75 to 80000 battery shops per day so the more new sells their car or the more new uh, delivers their car is the more we are seeing of course also battery shopping stations uh, or total battery shops completed per day uh, increasing which is something that is pretty exciting and it shows you that the more new sales is the more new is going to see uh, battery shops being completed per day and especially with also their sub brand on coming this will be one of the biggest catalysts to also fuel the total battery shops uh, for NEO to be able to get to profitability. I mean, for each and every battery shopping station to be at break even, NEO has told us that they need to complete around 60 swaps per day. So, for NEO to be to reach break even point at their battery shopping station, their users need to complete battery swap of around 60 on each battery shopping station per day which that will bring profitability that will bring a break even which i definitely think that we are going to see that happening very soon so i'm happy i'm excited because you know that neo has already indicated that though their battery shopping station is not yet profitable 20 percent of their battery swapping stations um, they are already profitable and 20% I think I did this figure and it's almost 500 almost 500 of their battery shopping stations They are already at, at a break-even point which shows you that Already, it's not as difficult for Neo to get those 60 battery shops per day on a battery shopping station because already 20% They are already at a break-even and the more Neo sells their cars and the more sub brands they sell is the more we are going to see Neo reaching break even. You know that Neo also has formed strategic partnership with other EV cars who they are going to build an alliance car together, which will result in Neo also seeing battery subs coming from their alliance car, which we look forward to because it will also boost Neo reaching a break even point. You know that the first alliance car for Neo is expected to be or to come around. Uh, December or Q4 of 2025 we'll be seeing uh, the, the Alliance car or the car that is able to utilize uh, Neo's battery shopping station which uh, it will be so amazing to see other brands starting to utilize Neo's battery swapping station so I'm happy I'm excited tell me what you think about this I think these are pretty good numbers I mean the fact that we are seeing car companies like BYD 19.4% of their users utilizing NEO's uh, charging infrastructure without even connecting uh, to NEO's uh, or integrating, BYD integrating NEO's charging infrastructure to, to their apps. So this shows you of how many uh, charging infrastructure is NEO providing to the entire of China. I mean, they don't dominate the, the infrastructure for nothing or they don't call themselves uh, infrastructure maniac for nothing because when it comes to infrastructure, Neo, they've been deploying this like crazy 
which is something that like i said it is pretty interesting pretty good and it shows us that blue sky is coming over and above the cars that we are saying or the sales that neo generates neo power will also bring quite uh, uh, good revenues from neo which like i said it only means one thing and that is blue sky is coming otherwise with all that i just thought i'd just give you this quick update tell me what you think about this i think these are good news to see that of course other users are utilizing or over 78 percent of usage when it comes to the charging infrastructure or neo charging infrastructure is being utilized by non neo users this is something that is pretty exciting and it is something like this that shows us the kind of quality uh, of infrastructure that neo is deploying uh, out there in the fast growing ev industry otherwise that's all from me i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey do your own due diligence or at least you can be comfortable as you are investing onto this stock otherwise i remain bullish long and strong onto the new stock because blue sky is coming otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all